people, this is Carla from the Learn English by Speaking English show, and I am here to talk to you about finding students for your English show. This is lesson 10, I believe. I may be wrong, but I think so. Anyway, finding students is an interesting thing. I had a friend, I mean, Mayhan gave me my first student who was an employee in Pakistan. And that's how I started and people saw that, saw me talking to him and all of a sudden they wanted to come and speak English. I was on Rehan Alwala's page and it reached many eyes. It takes time to create that. When you start, first of all, I would invite all of your family and friends to join you. Because once you go on and if people see that you're there, then they're going to come and talk to you. 99% 100% of the people I found, I never knew in my life before. I always go kind of nuts, happy when I hear, oh, you're from Japan, thank you for coming. Oh, you're from Somalia, thank you for coming and talking to me. The way you find your students is by making yourself available by making yourself public to everyone who wants to take the class, take your class and work with you in English. It's very important to be open to speak with everyone and to grow your audience as you get, become more and more known. Don't give up. You need to be consistent. You need to do it every day. You don't do it just for two days and then not do it. Make a plan. Let your audience know that you will be here on certain days. It doesn't need to be seven days a week. It could be just three days, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the same time. It's the consistency that brings your audience to you. I have been very consistent with my time, very consistent with my um, days that I'm there on air. So I have audience coming from all over. I have people coming from Vietnam now, people coming from Korea, and I'm wondering how do they find me? but they found me, they come, they speak with me. And also when you are doing your program, tell people to share it out to their friends and family and friends to be. The reason I say friends to be is because an enemy is just someone you have never spoken to. Once you begin to speak to different people around the world, you'll find that your life blossoms. But you'll also find that there's no enemy. There's only someone that you have never spoken to before, and you're getting to know them. And I do suggest that you leave out politics and religion because that divides people. You want your show to unite people and bring people together. And having said that, we are going to go on to our next class, which is how to make images and where to publish.